Remember those cheap, lightweight, Chinese-made, high-frequency inverters from the 90s? The ones that might last you a year or two, if you were lucky? Unfortunately, they're back. Only this time, these Chinese manufacturers are stuffing these lightweight, short-lived, low-surge inverters into larger, more modern-looking metal and plastic boxes with little to no improvements to this outdated, high-frequency technology with claims that they can safely power your entire home. If you've already thrown your money away on one of these poorly engineered, overpriced products, then we highly recommend that you do not watch this video, because you're not going to be happy with what you learn about the technology that's used in these inferior devices. High frequency, transformerless inverters are not designed to repeatedly power. High surge loads such as refrigerators, microwaves, power tools, air conditioning or EVs. You might be able to power some of these inductive loads when your high frequency inverter is new. But every time you do, you're shortening the life of the already overheated MOSFETs and capacitors in your inverter. Another issue with these high-frequency inverters is that in order to qualify for any of the available state rebate and tax credits, an inverter must meet UL 1741 safety standards. And most of these Chinese-made, high-frequency inverters are not certified for UL 1741. High frequency, transformerless inverters operate at a much higher temperature due to their high switching speeds, which makes them far more prone to early failure. Because there is no output transformer, if the output monitoring circuit were to fail, it would only take a single overheated MOSFET to short to ground, and high voltage, high current DC could pass through to your AC loads and set them on fire. In light of this, whatever you do, never attempt to charge an EV with a high frequency transformerless inverter. Here's a photo that was posted on DIYSolarForum.com of a cabin that was allegedly burned to the ground by a high-frequency solar generator. In order to save on weight and cost, Chinese manufacturers substitute the reliable, heavy-duty iron-core copper-wound output transformer with a pile of cheap, off-spec, resistors, diodes, capacitors, inductors, and knock-off MOSFETs that not only make these inverters more difficult and expensive to repair, but also makes for a far more complex circuit that's prone to early failure. With over 24 years in the inverter repair industry, it has been our experience that high-frequency transformerless inverters have a much higher failure rate when compared to low-frequency transformer-based inverters. So it is our recommendation that if you're planning on powering inductive loads in your home such as microwave ovens, refrigerators, power tools, or AC units, that you purchase a hybrid, low-frequency, pure sine wave transformer-based inverter charger. We're the Inverter Doctor. Since 1999, we have provided inverter repair services to thousands of customers nationwide. Based on that experience, we know full well which inverter technology works and which inverter technology doesn't. And in our professional opinion, a high-frequency solar generator or inverter is the last thing on earth that you want to power your home with.